Olá! Bom dia! Eu estou a aprender língua gestual. Quando começa a escola? Hi, we're Team Actis. I'm Tina. I'm Taya. And today, we are students of the University of Maribor, Faculty of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science located in Slovenia. We would like to introduce you to Actis, an application designed to motivate children to do daily exercise at home using an advent calendar-like reward system. In addition, our application can be used for remote PE classes and maintaining connections between peers. COVID-19 has left its mark on more than 1.5 billion children worldwide in more than 165 countries. They suddenly had to adapt to online studying and plenty of them lost physical contact with their classmates and friends. They had to face the challenges of distance learning and became less active during lockdown. The main problem for children was the lack of internal motivation to perform the activities assigned to them by their teachers, which in practice led to less physical activity among children. On the other hand, physical education teachers also faced a problem during lockdown, as they did not have a system for checking if students had actually completed the assigned activities. Lockdowns are stressful for children, with a potential impact on their behavior. Research shows that children under stress consume high-calorie foods and sugary drinks, which enhances the chance of weight gain, especially when the amount of daily physical activities is reduced due to restrictions. In Slovenia, elementary schools in just two months of quarantine notice a lower physical fitness compared to the previous year. They also noticed that obesity among children increased by 20%. Exercise is important for children and adolescents not only because of their physical performance and physical health, but also because our brains are still developing during this period. It has been proven that children who are physically active on a daily basis are more successful in school, less depressed, more self-confident and can easily develop social intelligence. Science shows that consistency is the key for creating habits. We want to activate the target group of children up to 15 years to do regular exercise and encourage them to create and maintain healthy habits, as well as help them stay connected with their friends. Our vision is to help improve the lifestyle of millions of children across the world. With that in mind, we created an app that supports and stimulates micro-changes in children's behavior. Actis solves the problem of lack of motivation and physical activity in children in the long run. During quarantine and school holidays, Actis allows children to stay in touch with their friends while performing sports activities, where they can encourage each other by sharing their success and view photos posted in their groups. The originality of our application is reflected in the intertwining of motivation, physical activity and a healthy diet for children. We solve the problem of distance physical education in a unique way. Our application differs from others on the market mainly in motivational messages and rewards that are targeted at the individual. Our idea is that children receive those messages from celebrities such as athletes, musicians, actors and other famous people. Children are motivated to do something if someone, especially their role models, congratulate them. 
We believe that the app can penetrate the market and help children become more active, as we have also provided a good user experience and the app is easy to use. With the application, we want to help children to make physical activities a part of their everyday life. The advantage of our design is that it can be easily realized with the help of a team of developers, which means that we can bring the application to the market quickly and help solve a global problem. We are convinced that physical education teachers would find the app useful as it facilitates the process of implementing physical education at a distance. Let us show you how simple the use of Actis is. After creating an account, pupils can choose the avatar which best represents them, or change it later. We know how much fun children have with finding out what treasures they'll uncover behind the cardboard doors of advent calendars, so we decided to combine the fun of opening an advent calendar with being active. In Actis, children can open daily activities and get their treasure after they complete them. On their profile, they can check how many points they've got and which badges they've received for completing daily activities. At the same time, they can track the number of steps taken in a day and in a week. If pupils have achieved a weekly step goal and completed all the activities, they can open a special window on Saturday and watch a video of a famous person congratulating them for a performance well done. Upam da vam je to sve skupa ta aplikacija malo lajšala, tako da delate še naprej, ostanite vredo in ja, upam da kdaj za športamo kaj skupaj. Držte se, čau. A healthy lifestyle also includes healthy eating habits. On Sundays pupils can open a special recipe that they can prepare easily and get basic cooking skills. An important part of the app are groups that children join with a code that they get from their teachers. In a group, pupils can post photos of themselves performing certain activities from the daily calendar and connect with their friends by using chat. In that way, they stay connected and form a community network. As we mentioned, Actis is also intended for physical education teachers. They can create groups in the app, have insight into pupils' activities, and check their photos. When using the app, teachers can set activities in advance. They can come up with the activities themselves or simply generate them with the help of the app. Teachers can also use the app to communicate with their pupils via chat and track their performances. With the help of Actis, children and teachers will surely be able to find a new map of life. Actis, be active and have fun! Hello Athena, I am Manolis Lourakis and with my PhD supervisor, Assistant Professor Kostas Petridis and Professor Eva Tiandafilou, we try to apply Scrum Framework in Physics to course in Hellenic Mediterranean University during last spring semester. Our purpose was to examine possible positive effect of Scrum on student progression and soft skill development. As many of you already know, Scrum originated in the IT industry and now is an ongoing trend in many other business sectors. The main idea behind Scrum is to divide a complex task into smaller parts that are completed by teams of people in specific time periods called the sprints. During these periods, there is a kind of supervision in daily basis happening in the so-called stand-up meeting where a person called the Scrum Master makes sure that the principles and values of Scrum are applied and also he tries to remove any impediments the team may face. The challenge was not only to adapt the framework for use in the student, but also to apply it in remote teaching conditions due to COVID-19 restrictions. Ten students volunteered for the project 
and we divided them in three teams for the first phase and two teams for the second. In both phases, the product owner, the professor, gave the students the desired learning outcome in a list of topics called the product backlog, along with the desired final product, a PowerPoint presentation on a specific electronic device. The teams worked in their own pace by organizing themselves without the existence of a leader, as Scrum dictates. The engagement of the project was obvious from the very beginning, since all teams collectively decided to use Discord as their virtual working space, an application very popular to young people available for computer, tablets and smartphones. The progression in soft skill was apparent every time the teams presented their work at the end of each sprint in the sprint review meeting. The PowerPoint presentations were presented collectively, fluently and with increased comfort from one presentation to the next. Another area where the participants evidenced progress was on keeping track on the deadlines and the amount of the completed tasks by depicting their daily sprint effort on a table called the burn-down chart. But the main evolution we observed was on the learning process itself, and this fact was documented in their replies when we asked them to evaluate the whole experience by filling out an online questionnaire. More than half believed they gained much more knowledge on the core items of the course, while the rest replied just more. Almost all of them believe that they improved their in other areas of the student skill set, like course material handling, searching the literature and presenting their work. For the future, we plan, we, we plan to apply Scrum in the actual classroom environment, COVID permitting of course, with bigger teams and a variety of tangible final products, like small electronic devices or laboratory aids. Finally, we plan to train the teachers and higher semester students on the role of Scrum Master and Product Owner, which we believe will advance the students' leadership skill. We hope that you find our endeavor interesting and we wish you a COVID-free future. Thank you. I'm Ilaria Minetti, a researcher at Nicola Cusano University. Today, I would like to introduce you to the BID project in the context of European Framework. The project aim is the assessment of exoskeleton performances in assisting human balance, both in static and in dynamic condition. The BID system is composed of three degrees of freedom, robotic platform, computer control both in position and impedance commode, a set of testing protocols and a set of performance indicators. The hardware is composed of three linear models connected to a moving plate with three floating arms and six spherical joints. Continuous multi-axial rotation around the roll, pitch and yaw axis can be provided. High sensitive low cell and a pressure matrix which allow the measurement of the human center of pressure, ground reaction forces and moment compose the sensor system. The control system allows users to provide seven testing protocols designed for the test drive of lower limb exoskeletons. The testing protocols can be divided into position and impedance mode. During the position mode, the position of the base of support is a priori imposed and the reaction response of the subject wearing the exoskeleton is measured. On the contrary, during the impedance mode, the position of the base of support is no longer imposed a priori. In this case, the goal is the assessment of the interaction between the overall system composed of the unstable base of support, the subject and the exoskeleton. The platform software evaluates the performance of the exoskeleton to 16 performance indicators, divided into four main categories kinematic, muscle, body stability and response to perturbation indicator. The
platform software is also able to manage data measured by external sensor system such as optoelectronic system, inertial sensor and surface electromyography system. In conclusion, the BIT project has the potential to provide a standardized test badge for automated evaluation of exoskeleton performances in assisting human balance. Hello, I'm Pierre Vivauban and I'm starting my third year as a PhD student in the Institute of Organic and Analytical Chemistry, which is based in the University of Orléans in France. Uh, so I have a background of pharmacist and I decided to specialize into chemoinformatics, which is the application of numer numerical tools uh, for chemistry. Uh, so our, the goal of our team research team is uh, to discover new, new molecules for drug design purposes. Um, so when eventually we find out uh, molecules that are uh, promising, we ask our colleagues that are chemists to synthesize them, and if they succeed to do so, uh, we send the molecule to biologists that will test them, and uh, then they can tell us if the molecule have a treat therapeutic uh, treatment purpose. Um, so my PhD project is about the analysis of the interaction between proteins and small molecules in order to design new molecules uh, that can become drugs. Uh, so for this purpose, I'm um, doing some modeling of the inter dynamic interaction between the um, protein and the molecule. And then I'm analyzing this interaction and then assessing the stability of the complex during the simulation. And the more, the more stable is the complex and then the higher chances the molecule can become a drug. Um, but for this purpose, I'm um, using um, artificial intelligence methods like deep learning in order to analyze uh, the simulations and in the end it can help me to find out the most suited molecules uh, for the later stages. Um, all this um, simulation requires a lot of computational time. Um, however, I'm lucky enough to have in a local computational center in this laboratory uh, and as I have as well access to uh, a high computing center which is national in France. And um, so thanks to all that and hopefully with my PhD uh, I can accelerate the process of discovering new drugs for medical use in the future.